this peach or seeker and uh, uh for this video I'm gonna show you guys a little something I did to my uh Romanian Wasser 1063 uh general purpose model. Um I basically converted it into a tactical model which now I labeled on the title uh Wasser 1063 Romanian General Purpose Sop Mod. And SOP mod stands for special operations uh peculiar modifications which means uh, I've built the AK up to uh, what I need it for on the field, whatever my uh, expectations and uh, uh, tool need, uh, whatever it be, you know, I, I can mod it into this, that's what SOP mod is. And uh, here she is, you know, she's just uh, got a couple things on it so far that have made it uh, tactical, or tactical as Nut Fancy would say. Um, for starters, you know, I started off with the basic AK-47, the Wasser 1063 Romanian. This is the general purpose, the GP model. And, uh, it's 1984, so it's after a lot of the bands. It's a, a post-ban rifle. Um, is what I did to it for starters, you know, well, something Century Arms International did to it before I got my hands on it and bought it from, uh, from Bud's, uh, BudsGunShop.com is uh, they went out and switched the trigger, which reduced uh, trigger slap, and they did this deal with Tapco, so they were involved with that. Tapco also switched out the stocks for a uh, more uh, compact uh, side folding stock, and it's really really nice. Actually, locks good in place and it's sturdy. It's it it doesn't bend at all. It's not a wimpy attachment. It's very very good. Um, the last thing that they did, to my knowledge, is they switched out the uh, compensators for a uh, slant muzzle brake from Tapco. So they also did that, and it works fine. You know, you get some sparks every here and there, but uh, it does reduce the the recoil on this by by far, actually. I'd say compared to without it. So that's what was on there. Um, things that I went and did was uh, let's see from. Uh, from cheaper than dirt .com for around forty nine plus dollars I bought this uh this quad rail that you see here that I attached uh my my vertical foregrip on uh my red dot up here from uh center point I have an aim point uh laser pretty much the same setup you see on the twenty two sot mod the Ruger twenty two that I have that I uh modded out for tactical use and, and uh, run and gun training which is over here I'll show you that in a little bit but that's all I pretty much did to it I bought some extra UTG uh, olive drab uh, rubber hand guards that you see here on that I slapped on my rails gives it more of a comfortable feel when I'm not using the foregrip when I'm using it like this switch up to the little rubber guards they're, they're very nice and they uh, give you the, the uh, the no stress ability of grinding and bumping things and breaking things with your rifle and all the hard sharp jagged spots so that was really really cool about this rifle like I said uh, I got a red green dot scope on the top which is uh, made from center point and it's you know a Walmart thing about 50 bucks the aim point laser is a uh, 20 30 buck item the uh, UTG tactical vertical foregrip it's about a 20 buck item depending on where you get it you can get it for cheaper um, I got a polymer uh, Tapco uh, 30 round double stack magazine on here. That's something like I said that goes extra that you want to buy and add. Um, some more uh, things I like to do to this this rifle so far is I want to put another hand grip on a more ergonomic ha pistol hand grip. You know that would fit this better for its tactical use. Get a little bit more comfortable grip in there. And the last thing I think I want to get a uh, AK 74 uh, muzzle brake on the top get some better compensation in on that. But other than that, this is it. This is my uh my new tactical sop mod uh Wasser uh, Romanian ten sixty three. The general purpose. This thing is sweet. There you go. Peach seeker here. See you guys bro.